everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about talk to you about uh, making money with Inkscape. Now, I'm assuming that you you're relatively good with Inkscape in um, in some cases, and you have some artistic skills. But you know what? Even if you don't have artistic skills, you probably can still make money. Well, I mean, I'm sure you. I know you can. Um, so, in this short video, I'm going to talk about three ways. Hopefully, I'll keep it down to three, where you can use Inkscape to generate at least a little income, if not more. The first one is um, Fiverr. Some of you maybe already know of this place. You just want to take a look at their website. Go down to Graphics and Design. And under Graphics and Design, you'll see all the possibilities you can. I'll just click on Logo Design. And here, let's see. They want you to choose a design style, but you don't really have to. You can go down here where people are offering their services to create a logo. Now, some people have, um, they're offering a really inexpensive price. And a lot of times they do that so they can get the person in to uh, purchasing from them. And then they can upsell them in various ways. But... There's not only logo design, but you also have business cards, stationery, illustration, um, cartoons and characters, flyers, etc. You can see all these items. Um, infographics is, would be a really good one for Inkscape. But, <clears throat> you know, it, it won't always, you, you, you can't always do it just with Inkscape. You might have to use something like uh, GIMP, a photo editor. Um, there's also um, some cheap paid alternatives other than uh, Photoshop. But if you are making money, uh, Photoshop is also a good software to use because I mean, that's only ten dollars a month that you could uh, you could take advantage of that. The thing is, in most instances, you're not being paid to use a specific software, so don't worry about using Photoshop. You can use GIMP. That's you know, GIMP is free, and um, Inkscape is free. Um, you're being paid to come out with the end product, so you shouldn't have any problem with that. There's, uh, you know, there's maybe this one instance, uh, Photoshop editing. There's a vector tracing, which uh, you can definitely use Inkscape for that. Invitations, sure, that, that would work also. So that's one option. Uh, another option, uh, let's see. I've, this um, person has this blog. She says, she talks about how she made $900 in a weekend with printables. And I know people make a lot of money with some printables. Um, she does not use uh, Inkscape, but Inkscape would be, work very well for printables. And one place that they sell, some people sell printables, is on Etsy. You can go into Art and Collectibles. You can go into Prints, but there's other options here too that you can look into. Prints. And then just look through all this. Get inspired by you know what other people have done and what other people are selling. In many cases you'll just see uh, text. So if you can find some good fonts, public domain fonts, or you know even paint, um, paid fonts if you want to pay for them. This one right here is just a, a simple font, and it doesn't really say anything, but be a nice human. One thing you might want to look out for is um, copying someone's, and, you know, too much. Uh, you don't want to, you, it's good to just be inspired. You don't have to copy the whole thing. And if you do, you get into trouble. When you sign up with Etsy, you'll be going, are you looking at the various rules that they have? And you'll have to follow those or you'll get kicked off. Um, anyway, just look through this and you'll, you'll probably get some good ideas. So Inkscape would definitely work well, very well for printables. And if you do have those printables, um, or that printable artwork that you come up with, you can also use it for print-on-demand websites. There's, oh, there's tons of print-on-demand websites, and this is just a, a small uh, collection that they have come up with. This, uh, was it, placeit.net on their blog. They've come up with these possible ways to, use, to um, sell print-on-demand items. Um, and I've used some of these places, uh, one of them being Zazzle. <clears throat> so here you can click on Start Selling Zazzle. We won't go into that, but here's some 
examples, best-selling examples. And uh, as you see there, in this case, um, t-shirts, but they have, <clears throat> you can sell many items, uh, not just t-shirts on, on Zazzle. So what's nice is that you can, you have a, a design, you can put it on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, you can put it on many other types of clothing. Let's see, it says C on five products. So let's look. So it's a bag, a book or a spiral book. Is that a money pouch and a, and a coffee cup? So this is just uh, just three examples um, on Fiverr, and there's a lot of other sites similar to Fiverr, freelance sites. Um, <clears throat> and then this uh, printables selling on Etsy or some other site. And then uh, print on demand. Thanks for watching. Now, you know this is just a very just a very few ways of selling, making money with Inkscape. Um, use Google to find other instances that you can use Inkscape to make money. Thanks for watching.